I tried to identify who was shooting at us and couldn't. Uh, it sounded like a whole magazine of maybe 15 rounds were fired at us. Uh, and then the gunfire stopped. So uh, I appreciate the opportunity to talk. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are interested in uh, what took place. And I'm going to give you a, a kind of a quick overview of what happened that night. And then we'll take any questions. And so um, on that particular evening, Wednesday evening, uh, a week ago, uh, I was with the arrest of uh, the LMPD units uh, who had been put in place in anticipation of uh, protests and uh, civil disobedience. Uh, in the downtown Little Blair area, there was a group of several hundred uh, who had gathered at uh, Jefferson Square Park. Um, and then in, uh, about 8 o'clock in the evening, I uh, started to set fires uh, in the area of Jefferson Square. And so uh, there was four or five fires that were actually set at the park. There was a fire that was set at the courthouse. Um, as LMPD units and KSP units uh, moved into the area, uh, that group uh, went south on 6th Street. Um, set more fires in the area of 6th and Muhammad Ali, and then eventually got into the uh, old Louisville area. Uh, as we were able to put the fires out, there was a call over the radio that some uh, gunfire had uh, occurred around College Street um, near Brook first in that area. And so uh, the SRT group and myself um, deployed uh, from 6th and Ali to uh, Brook and Broadway. Uh, actually, the truck I was on pulled up underneath uh, the I-65 overpass on Broadway. Um, the officers got off, got out, uh, and we ran up to Brook and Broadway and started getting on line. Uh, I moved into the front of the group. Um, I turned my back to the crowd. There was maybe two, 300 uh, right around College, uh, Jacob, or Jacob, I think, the alleyway that runs behind the, the, the Taco Bell that goes all the way over to to Brook Street and then further east. Um, I was getting uh, instructions to the group on how to get online, uh, preparing to move. Uh, I'd given instructions to uh, Lieutenant Boat, and I said, hey, we need, we need to move forward. Uh, there's a, some large fences around behind that Walgreens that has barbed wire around it. And there's large fences, uh, chain link uh, to our east. And uh, we'd had some problems uh, early on uh, back in the end of May, where people had actually gotten hurt climbing over those fences. And so we were trying to move up to make sure that uh, we prevented any of that happening. Uh, and as uh, the instructions to move were given, uh, gunfire started. Uh, I heard the gunfire, uh, immediately turned around to look for where the, uh, the gunfire was coming from. Uh, I couldn't find it. Uh, I, I tried to identify who was shooting at us and couldn't. Uh, it sounded like a whole magazine of maybe 15 rounds were fired at us. Uh, and then the gunfire stopped. And um, so I, I never cleared my holster. I never drew my gun. Um, I put my hood back, uh, took my hand off my gun, and then realized that my hip was on fire and uh, that I'd been shot. I uh, looked down and saw the injury. I tried to walk back to cover, back towards uh, some of the concrete pillars underneath the I-65. and. Um, took a little hiccup, uh, couldn't quite step all the way down, had a little jump. Um, one of my SRT officers, uh, Officer Brandon, fantastic cop, uh, came over to me and she said, uh, I think you've been shot. And I said, yes, I've been hit. And she immediately started uh, providing care for me. Um, the other officers putting themselves uh, and their life on the line came over and, and picked me up. Um, and, and got me out of there quickly to the ER, where the ER doctors were fantastic, um, taking immediate care for me. Uh, I, uh, I actually have three holes uh, so uh, in my body because the bullet fragmented off uh, while it was in me. So I've got one entry wound and two exit wounds. And the doctors were phenomenal. Um, the nurses were amazing, uh, caring for me. And that, and when I got to the hospital, that's when I found out that. Officer Desroches uh, had been injured as well. Um, the, the, the care that they provided for him was uh, out of this world. We have one of the best trauma centers here in Louisville, uh, and they did a great job and continue to do so in caring for um, Officer Desroches. So um, that's basically the broad brush of, of what's going on. Uh, Monday, I was uh, able to get returned to light duty. 
So uh, I'm going to be behind the desk for a while, uh, but uh, hopefully everything goes the way it should and I don't get any infections or anything, I'll, I'll make a full recovery. So um, with that, I'll take any questions you guys might have. 